Hello, this is Wayne Brisbane. I am one of the urologists at UCLA, and I'm helping to organize a Focal Therapy Society patient-facing videos project. We're reaching out to you because we'd like you to record one of these videos uh, while you're on campus at uh, in Washington, D.C., uh, for the Focal Therapy Society conference. So the main goal of this project is to create patient-facing videos um, that are educational in nature. Um, you're, while you're getting recorded, your uh, face and your voice will be professionally recorded, but we're also going to supply a digital whiteboard, which is basically going to be a PowerPoint screen. And you know, we encourage you to annotate it. Um, you can annotate on a black uh, canvas or blank canvas, sorry. Um, you can also uh, pre uh, prepare something if you have anything that you, you think is useful. For example, uh, anatomy drawings for you're saying, okay, well, here's the prostate and this is the direction for transperineal biopsy. Um, you can uh, you can make it dynamic by um, erasing things and then say, okay, well, this is how you do a transrectal biopsy. All of that's great uh, and highly encouraged. Um, the goal of these is to make them about uh, five to seven minutes in time length, uh, but we realize some of these topics may take a, a little bit longer, so try and make it between five and 15 minutes. Um, we can always edit things down uh, if you find that um, there was things that could be uh, removed later. Um, they're also supposed to be educational in nature. We're, we're hoping that somebody could kind of start at uh, knowing zero knowledge and um, get as close to kind of being able to make a decision on their prostate cancer care. Uh, we've tried to break these up into multiple smaller sections uh, so that um, patients can kind of go in a stepwise uh, fashion. And then we're assigning uh, each of you uh, one of these topics. So it'll feel uh, there'll be fresh faces coming in and different styles, which will keep it more interesting. Uh, but we're also having uh, kind of similar uh, feel to it with these, uh, with the recordings, uh, the same backlighting, the same editors, and then this uh, same kind of digital whiteboard. And then the final thing is uh, non-commercial um, as, as best as possible. And we all have technologies that we prefer, but these are just to be educational, helping patients make generalized decisions regarding whole gland therapy versus focal therapy, understanding what prostate cancer is, uh, risks, uh, the different risk categorizations, et cetera. So an example, so I'm going to be doing what is the prostate. Um, the way I like to do this is I just start drawing for a patient. So I'm giving you an example. Um, so I would tell them, you know, I'm assuming that they know nothing. They know, here's your pubic bone. Here's your abdominal wall going up towards the neck. Um, here's your phallus. Here's your scrotum, perineum, rectum, gluteal muscles, and back. So this is opening you like a book and looking at you from the side. And your prostate sits right around here underneath the pubic bone, the belt buckle is right around there. And then your bladder is right here. There's a tube that you urinate through called the urethra. And that goes through the prostate and now through the bottom portion of the penis. The rectum comes in very close like this and then goes up and attaches to the rest of the intestines. And then the spine comes down like that. And here's the sacrum. And then there's this muscle hammock we call the pelvic floor that goes from here around the colon for fecal continence through the perineum, around the urethra for urinary continence, and then attaches to the pubis and up to the top of the prostate. Then there's some very important nerves that come out of the mid low back, go around the colon, around the prostate, and then attach into the penis. And these are involved with the hydraulics of erection. So I kind of sketched out the anatomy and the patient can see then, you know, this is the prostate where it is, um, or something like that. Now, not everyone has, has to do that. I, I think it's nice, but if you wanted to just say, well, here's the prostate, and then move on, and this is where it is, and then just kind of do your drawings, and after you've you've done a pre-annotation, that's completely fine. You can also drop in um, charts, so if you want to do some, kind of say, oh, this is a study by Dr. Loeb, where they took um, about 50 patients, and they followed them for four years, and they found that over time, you know, from your 50s to your 60s, you have this increase over time in your prostate, so prostates tend to grow over time. Whatever you like is, is all of it is very welcome. Uh, just try and uh, draw as much as possible and keep it uh, entertaining for the patients so that they kind of feel like they're, they're learning things. And um, we're hoping that this will be a really great project. Thank you so much for uh, agreeing to participate. Uh, we're, we kind of consider you a thought leader in this field and um, we're, we're excited to, to see what we can produce.